Hey everybody, it's your man Russ Mitchell, Homesick Buckeye. We are back here again, back to bring you another video. Hopefully make you laugh, make you smile, forget about your troubles for a while. That's what we do here. I hope you're moving and grooving, steadily improving. I hope you're living and giving, thriving and striving. Uh, and I hope you're having a good day. If you're not having a good day, hey, you'll have a better day tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't let no things get you down, right? All right. Well, um, we're back in the swing of things here with our series. We're getting down near the end. My Overweight Life, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, so far, if you have, hit the like button. Share it with your family, your friends, whoever you think might benefit from it. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, we appreciate uh, all the support. Uh, I've been getting some comments and things privately and publicly. I appreciate the comments. You can always comment uh, as well. But let's get into it. We're into chapter nine now of my overweight life. And if you remember from chapter eight, I just had a breakthrough. And I just had seen uh, Dr. Bittman explain ketosis. And and my fears had gone away. And I, I just, I knew ketosis was it for me. And I had to, 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 to get myself there. And but I didn't want to rush and jump into it and do something crazy and rash. I wanted to, to, to put together a plan because I wanted ketosis to be my finish line, not my starting line. So that's what I did. I sat down and I wrote all the things that I had to change in my life. Um, and it was kind of a big list. And, you know, I knew this was going to be life changing. I mean, really, it was changing my whole life around and you know, I'm an old guy. I'm 53. Uh, although I know I look pretty good for 53. I, I know I look good for 53. Shout out to all my lovely low-carb ladies and my keto cuties out there. I see you. I see you. Holla at a player when you see him in the street. You know, I can't take you out for no ice cream or nothing like that, but maybe come back to my place and split a stick of butter or something like that because that's how I get down now. But I digress. I'm old, and I'm kind of stuck in my routines. And I don't know if you ever, you know, try to get an old person to, to change their life or get out of their routines. Maybe you got an older person in your life, a, a dad or a grandpa. Uh, have you ever called them up and tried to get them to break their routine or get out of their plan? It's not an easy thing, you know. Like, you call your grandpa up, and you're like, hey, grandpa, uh, I thought I'd come over and and take you out to lunch. And he's like, no, 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 can't do it today. It's the third Tuesday of the month. I got to get the air pressure check for the tires on the car. Now, you can't go around with air pressure low on the tires. It's very vital to the, okay, okay, Grandpa, I understand. Well, how about uh, next Tuesday? Maybe? No, 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 no. The fourth Tuesday every month, I go and get my toenails trimmed uh, because, uh, you know, I got that fungus now. Uh, and and the, the the whole net length is very vital to the, oh, oh okay it's vital vital pop I, I get it um are you sure you can't just make an exception no no I'm not I told you the third two the fourth two I got the, what I got to do now don't make me say it again okay 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 pop got it I got it I got it I love you pop I I'll call you later bye okay that's what we're dealing with when you try to get old people to change the routine so I know this is gonna be tough but I gotta do it. So I began to think about it a little bit more, and I thought to myself, you know, I've got to create a new normal for myself, and that normal has got to keep me in ketosis. So then I thought, well, what's normal anyway? How do you define normal? And I came up with a 90-10 strategy. Normal is what you do 90% of the time. The other 10% of the time whatever. Maybe you're off your game that day or it's a special occasion. And I thought, yeah, 90-10. So there's 365 days in a year. That means 329 days a year I need to be in ketosis. And if I can do that, I think I've got the problem solved. So, I look back down at the list. And I don't know if any of y'all like the fight game, like boxing or uh, MMA or any of that. But if you don't know anything about the fight game, I'll explain a little bit to you. When you got a young fighter, and he's good, he's got some ability, you can't just throw him into the championship because he'll get beat. He's not ready. 
and he'll lose his confidence, and he might quit fighting altogether. So his managers and his, his handlers, they put him on a plan, and they find some easier competition for him. Find some guys he can beat, right? And then they put him in the ring. He beats those guys. He gets some confidence. Then you get a little tougher competition. Then he beats those guys. He gets more confidence. Now he's learning the fight game. He knows how to fight now. He's, he's figuring things out. And if you keep doing that, eventually he'll be good enough to fight the champion and have a real chance to win the championship. And I realized that's what I had to do for myself if I was going to win this ketosis fight and become the champion. So I look at the list again, and I look down, and I see some tough challengers, some tough opponents on there. All right, I got fruit and sugar and, and bread and pasta and grains and starchy things, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put a plan together. Okay, which are going to be the easiest? Which going to be the, the, the things I can beat? So I started with fruit and sugar because I don't like fruit anyway, and Dr. Bittman said I didn't have to eat it, and sugar, I mean, I, I like sugary drinks and things, but I don't have that big a sweet tooth, so I think I can beat that. So I get myself together, and by now we're in the May of 22, and I'm ready to fight. So I get in there, and I'm doing my thing, one on my toes, and I'm battling this, this, this fruit and this sugar, and no more smoothies, and, and, and no more fruit juice, and no more sweet tea, and, and, and no more sodas, and I can't lie to you, family. This thing was a little tougher than I thought it would be, but I keep fighting, and I knock it out. So now we're into around July, and my next opponent is bread. Yeah, and that's that's going to be a little tougher because I like biscuits and bagels and and, and sandwiches. and uh, 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 We're not talking about that. Okay, I got to fight. So I'm fighting, right? And I'm getting in there. And I'm battling this thing now, family. I'm battling. And, and this thing is tough. I mean, I'm dodging bagels and biscuits and, 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 and all kind of things. But I keep fighting. And I knock it out. So now I got sugar beet, fruit, and bread. But it took me a few months to beat all that. So now we're into like September uh, or October of 2022. And my next opponent is pasta and grains. And I like chips and salsa and macaroni and cheese. And... Anyway, so I, I'm fighting, family. And I'm battling this thing. And I got to tell you, family, this was the toughest fight I ever fought in my life. And I'm battling, but it's getting the best of me. And he's landing big shots, man. I mean, this opponent is tough. But I keep battling and fighting. But then I end up on the ropes. And then he fights dirty. He's, he, I, I'm fighting a sweet tea and a, and a bagel and a biscuit. I thought I already beat them already, but, but I'm just having trouble, family. I'm on the ropes, and I'm cut, and I'm bleeding, and I'm trying to get out of this round, just to stay on my feet. And finally, I get to the end of the round, and I'm broken, and I'm tired, and I'm cut, and I'm bleeding, and I stagger back to my corner. But I got a hell of a corner, family. I got a hell of a corner, family. I got Dr. Ken Berry in my corner, and he's telling me, shoot that jab, Russ. Shoot that jab, Russ. And I got Dr. Ben Bickman in my corner, and he's telling me, get off the ropes, son. Get off the ropes. You got to stay off the ropes. And I got Kelly Hogan in my corner. She got the, the ice, and she's spraying me with the, with the water, and she's telling me, he's running out of steam, Russ. Keep fighting, Russ. He can't knock you out, Russ. Keep fighting him. Keep fighting him. And I'm cut, and I'm bleeding, but I got a hell of a cut, man, in my corner, family. I got Sean White, intentional carnivore. He's telling me, it ain't nothing, Russ. It ain't nothing. You keep fighting, baby. You keep fighting. And that bell rings, and I get back out there, and I keep fighting, and I keep fighting. And finally, I knocked it out. I knocked out grain. I knocked out pasta. I done knocked out sugar. I done knocked out fruit. And I'm standing in the middle of the ring with my hands up. But I got one more fight left, family. I got one more fight, one more opponent standing between me and that ketosis championship belt. And that's nuts and seeds, starchy foods, high carb vegetables, and I'm still eating some fried things at the time too. But now, 
We're in the middle of April. It's April 2023. It's almost a year since I started. And I learned a lot. I learned that I could get knocked down, but I could get back up. I learned that I just had to keep fighting. Uh, And the most important thing I think I learned was that my opponents, they didn't have knockout power. They couldn't knock me out. They could knock me down. They could hurt me. They could cut me. But I had the knockout power. I had the knockout power. I could knock them out, but they couldn't knock me out. All I had to do was keep fighting. So now, as I said, we're into April of 2023. And I can see it from here. I know that I'm close. And so I go out and I buy myself a keto uh, meter that you blow into. It tells you if you're in ketosis. And I bought a scale because I hadn't weighed myself in 30 years. And I thought it was time. And I'm going to end the video here. But in the next video, we're going to pick it up in May of 2023. And I think in the next video, we'll bring it up to to today. But as always, I want to leave you with a word of encouragement. Don't give up. Keep fighting. You may get knocked down. You may be battered, bruised, and cut, and bloody. But you can keep fighting. And you can knock out whatever it is in your life that's standing in your way and standing between you and the champion that you want to become. All right? So I want you to keep striving and thriving. Keep living and giving. Keep moving, grooving, steadily improving. And as always, I wish you all the best, and I will see you on the next one.